Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please join me in welcoming the 35th Governor of the State of West Virginia, Governor Earl Ray Tom. Well, uh, first of all, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you, uh, Secretary Burdett, uh, and for all that you and your team at the Development Office do to bring new investments to the great state of West Virginia. As you may recall, about this time last year, I was proud to announce that global consumer products giant Procter & Gamble had selected a site in Berkeley County as the home of their newest manufacturing plant. And in September, we joined officials from P&G to break ground on this new $500 million plus project, the first of its kind to be built in the United States since the 1970s. And today, I'm proud to announce the next phase of this landmark economic development project. Just this afternoon, we received word from company executives that our Tabler Station facility is the newest manufacturing hub for eight of Procter & Gamble's top brands, including Pantene Shampoo, Head & Shoulder Shampoo, Olay Body Wash Products, all of which are billion dollars, that's B, a billion with a B, all billion dollar brands. In addition, Fidel Sassoon, Herbal Essence, and Aussie Shampoo, Shampoos will, will be made right here in West Virginia, as will Bounce, Fabric Enhancers, and Old Spice, body wash products. And you can see a lot of these products are sitting here in the shopping cart. I know Keith's been out shopping most of the day trying to bring these products in here, so we appreciate that. This announcement is huge for our state and for the people who call the Mountain State home. West Virginia is competing, and companies across the country and around the world are well aware of that. And we have known all along that West Virginia is a great place to do business, and our strong reputation is turning the heads of business and industry leaders here at home and all around the world. Last week we received word that, it, that our Procter Gamble project was named one of the top investments of the year by Trade and Industry Development Magazine. Each year Trade and Industry considers several hundred corporate economic development announcements all across North America. Of the many product, projects considered this year, West Virginia was selected as one of the publication's 2016 Corporate Investment and Community Impact Award winners, and we are truly honored to receive this outstanding award. Now, as P&G moves forward with its plans, the company has also provided us with an update, updated timeline for production. Bounce production is scheduled to begin in late 2017, with other products being added in late 2018. Together, these announcements are part of a much larger picture, one that secures hundreds of stable, good-paying jobs for hardworking West Virginians. In fact, P&G already has started the interview process with hundreds of people and will be back in Martinsburg next month to do additional testing and interviewing. Some people will start this year to work with hundreds more coming on board next year and in 2018. P&G has shown great confidence in our state and our workforce, and I'm committed to making sure West Virginia has available workers ready to do the job and to do it well. Thanks to the partnership between P&G and Blue Ridge Community and Technical College, we're offering specialized training programs to prepare our state's workforce for careers at the Tabler Station Manufacturing Facility. We're doing everything that we can to support PNG's workforce, and I encourage folks across the state to learn more about these opportunities and apply online at pgcareers.com. Procter & Gamble could have located its manufacturing plant anywhere in the United States or any place around the world. In fact, they looked at a number of different other sites, but they chose West Virginia. The people who understand economic development know that these types of investments don't just happen overnight. They are a result of the positive and stable business climate we've worked so hard to create. Over the past four decades, we've taken steps to become one of the most fiscally responsible states in the nation. 
We have paid off our old workers' compensation debt more than a decade ahead of schedule. We have and continue to address our long-term debts and liabilities in a consistent, responsible way. We cut business taxes, and we have worked hard to make sure our working families haven't seen a general tax increase for 20 years. These decisions have created the predictable business climate that businesses want and need to locate, grow, and expand here. But from the first day that I took the oath of office to serve as a member of the House of Delegates more than 40 years ago, there have been many times that I was proud of the work that we have accomplished. And during my time as your governor, we've shared just as many proud moments. Six years ago, I made a promise to go anywhere and sit down with anyone to bring jobs to West Virginia. The landing of this Procter & Gamble project will forever be one of my proudest moments. I know that there are only nine months left in my administration, but I'm passionate about this project because it strengthens the state that I love and it brings with it new opportunity for the people who call West Virginia home. I'm committed to doing everything I can to see this project through until the very end of my term. And I expect that we will have some more good news coming before the end of this year. And it's been my privilege to work with Secretary Burdett and his team, the Berkeley County officials, and the executives from Procter & Gamble to move this project forward. And I applaud the West Virginia Development Office for its continued outstanding work. So ladies and gentlemen, the Tabler Station project is just beginning, and that's something that every West Virginian can be proud of. Thank you.